Hi, good evening to all. Today we are going to look at an important topic of business math statistics. The topic is na Fisher's ideal index number, and we need to test na according to time reversal and the factor reversal test. Data is a given here, through which na we need to calculate the Fisher's ideal index number. <coughs> The first column should be the item. Then, <coughs> following that, the we need to the put the P C R column. P zero is the P C R of price. Q zero means the quantity of the P C R. But the in the problem, the they are given only the price and the expenditure. They don't have quantity, so we need to find out the quantity. If we divide the <coughs> price now from the total expenditure, we can get the quantity. Here is a twenty forty now divided two, we can get twenty. <coughs> P zero column now, as it is in the problem, two four one five. Q zero column. After that, dividing the total expenditure now from the price, we can get the quantity. <coughs> as the as the same as na the base year na we need to also na find out the current year na values also. Then we need to multiply na P zero Q zero and the P one Q one and the P one Q zero and the P zero Q one. This column na <coughs> will require to calculate the Fisher ideal na index number. Then we need to total the we need to total them as na summation P zero Q zero, summation P one Q one, summation P one Q zero, and summation P zero Q one. First we need to na <coughs> calculate the Price of the current year na compared to the price of the past year. The F denotes here na the Fisher's ideal index. The formula is na summation na P one Q zero divided na by na summation P zero na Q zero and summation P one Q one by na summation P zero Q zero Q one into hundred under root. Then we need to put the proper value now, <coughs> which now we has already now calculated now in the table presentation. Through which now we need to now put the values and the formula. Then we can get the B zero one value. <coughs> we need to read it as now price of now current year now compared to price of past year. Then we need to calculate the P one zero. It is just a reverse of the P one zero one. Here is the P zero Q one. Just now replace the value of the summation P one Q one two Q zero two summation P zero Q one. <coughs> These values are now given in the tabular tabular presentation. Then we need to now simplify this properly. Then we can get now P one zero value. Now it's a time to now test. First, now we need to now <coughs> test according to time reversal test. The condition is na p zero one into na p one zero equal to one. P zero one formula is the first we need to apply. Then multiply with na p one zero formula. Then we need to put the proper value. Then we can get na root of one. Root of one na is nothing is equal to one. 
So Fisher ideal index is not satisfied on time reversal test. Then we need to move on to factor reversal test. For this the condition is P01 into Q01 equal to V01. P01 we have already calculated. Uh, we know the formula of that. Now we need to know, apply the formula of Q01 and V01. Q01 we need to know, interchange the price value now to the quantity value. <clears throat> then we need to frame the formula of Q01. V01 formula na summation P1 Q1 by the summation na na P0 Q0 into 100. <clears throat> then we need to put the formula under root. <clears throat> if we simplify this na we can get na equal value of LHS and RHS. Finally, we need to comment na as na Fisher's ideal index na satisfies na factor reversal test. Thank you. We will see you again with another session. Until then, stay tuned, stay blessed. Bye.